Sandra, home ownership costs, down payments, dues, don'ts, credit scores, budgets, affordability. There's so much that goes into making the right financial decision when buying and selling real estate. And one of the things that people overlook all of the time, and I've been guilty of it too, is not speaking with your financial advisor on that, right? What tips could you give someone that is about ready to make that move? Where do I start, Emilio? There's just so many. Mm -hmm. um, we actually have seven things we, we like to talk to our clients about when they're contemplating buying a house. Um, but I think the most important thing before you purchase a house is um, to look at your spending prior to buying the house. Don't make any really big purchases or something that could hurt your opportunity to qualify for uh, the mortgage that you want on the property you want. And as you know, credit score is huge. So we all uh, think it's a great idea to qualify for the lowest interest rate possible and to stay on top of your credit. So yeah. that's a way to be proactive before they even see the mortgage lender. And that's the next step. We want them to get pre-qualified for the house ahead of time so that we can talk about if it makes sense that they don't bite off more than they can chew. And I'm sure you see that all the time. Too much. A lot of things people don't take into consideration when they're looking for a house and that's the full cost of home ownership. It's just not your principal and mortgage. Your utilities are going to be more. There's upkeep, there's maintenance. There's really a lot of unexpected things that come with home ownership that you kind of have to build into your budget. So it's really, really important that they work with somebody that can kind of go through that budget with them and make sure they're staying, you know, within something that they can really afford. Because God forbid somebody loses a job or there's a disability in the family, or maybe something wonderful like your family grows, but it's more expensive now with daycare. Those costs really, really um, you know, affect the budget. So it's really important to stick within something that you can afford and just don't bite off more than you can chew. What's that next point you wanted to, uh, to dive into for a tip? Um, probably trying to make a 20% down payment if you can afford to do that. So if you don't qualify for, say, a VA loan or an FHA loan, we talk about private mortgage, in mortgage insurance, which generally comes when you don't put 20% down. Um, and all that is, is an additional monthly fee that protects the lender in case you default on the loan. Um, but PMI can be really pricey. It's sure. not deductible and it's about 1% of your overall mortgage. So a thousand dollars per hundred thousand. So if you don't have to pay that on your mortgage and interest payment, that is good to, to not have to do that. And don't raid your retirement funds to make that 20% down payment. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the bonus tip. You don't want to pay that 10% early withdrawal penalty. So if you can do it outside of your retirement, that's phenomenal. Mm -hmm.